I love you, bitch. Oh my god. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. Hells, what are you doing? I don't know. Are you relaxing? Relaxing? Yeah, having a little self care? Self care. <laughs> I'm self caring. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you, like, so, so much. I really appreciate you. First off, thank you guys so much for, like, the overwhelming amount of support that you sent me and love that you sent me after my last video. It made me feel so much less lonely. <laughs> it was really nice. I had people sending me pictures and videos of their pets to make me smile and just people sending me really kind messages on Instagram and everything. And it just, it meant a lot to me. <laughs> so I, first off, this is like a tangent. Um, along with the comments of love and support that came from that video, a lot of people also told me that they didn't really care about my upload schedule and that they just liked when I uploaded and that I should just upload when I feel like it. And I think I'm going to do that now. Um, I just, I feel like it'll make my content feel a lot less, it'll keep my content from feeling forced um, if I just focus on making stuff when I, when I have something to say. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and keep it really, like, consistent, but I just think it's better for me, uh, to do it that way, especially right now with getting used to my new job and everything. Um, but yeah, that's just a side note. Some housekeeping, I suppose. Um, I, so this is getting into the, this video. Um, I have been doing significantly better since that <laughs> the last video that I filmed and honestly when I filmed that video um I was already deep in the throes of like healing and moving on and moving forward but then uh, a conversation happened between me and my ex-boyfriend and it along with like therapy my therapy session on monday slapped but something after that and after talking to my ex i something just clicked <laughs> and um it really helped shut the, that medical medical that metaphorical door and i've just been going through a process of realizing things like the year of just realizing stuff and everyone around me were all just like realizing things um and yeah and i think they're really important things to talk about and i want to talk about them today and it has to do with rekindling your relationship with yourself and self-love and self-care and how important that is so that's why i'm making this video it might seem kind of it might seem kind of random and rambly but i was inspired so here is this but before we get any into anything uh our recurring friend skillshare is back to sponsor this video and i just want to give them a huge thank you they've been so patient with me this month um with not being able to film um and everything and i just want to give them a huge huge thank you for doing that for me um but yeah let's learn a little bit more about skillshare in case you haven't heard about them yet which i feel like is probably not the case but i'm going to talk about them anyway skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration design photography video freelancing and more Skillshare is for everyone, creatives, curious people, lifelong learners, real working creatives, or beginners, pros, dabblers, and masters. Like I always say, I am a professional graphic designer and I still turn to Skillshare for learning new uh, technical skills, new like mindsets and everything towards my career, everything like that. It's a great resource for people who are new and intermediate like me and old in the in in their careers. Skillshare members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. Most classes are 60 minutes with short sessions, so it makes it easy to fit them into your daily schedule. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you.
And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. A class I really enjoyed this month was the Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self with Jonathan Van Ness, who you probably know from Queer Eye. I love him. Um, this class really helped me learn amazing tips for practicing self-care and self-love beyond the surface level of like face masks face masks and exfoliation, and that was something I really needed this month with all of the crazy life changes I have been going through. But Skillshare was kind enough to give the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down below a free for trial of a premium membership um, so that you can explore your creativity. Uh, thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you guys for watching my content so people actually want to sponsor me. Um, and yeah, let's just get into the ram more rambly life talk. <laughs> so a little background on my own relationship with myself is that I, I didn't date in high school or college. And that was like kind of a side effect, I think, of me growing up fat <laughs> in high school and in college. Um, it wasn't really by choice. Sorry, my nose is like so tickly right now. Uh, it wasn't by choice, um, but it just didn't happen. And honestly, in hindsight, I'm really happy that that's how it worked out. Um, I tell a lot of people who are younger than me that dating should be the last thing on their mind in high school and college because that was when I really kind of was able to lay the groundwork for who I was as a person and how I kind of maneuvered through life, even though I was such a young age. Um, it really kind of allowed me to establish a really good relationship with who I was as Megan. And it also allowed me to feel more comfortable in myself to do crazy things like study abroad or move out two weeks after graduating college. <laughs> uh, it made me feel a lot more comfortable in doing things like that because I was pretty much as secure in myself as I could be by that point. Um, and it also allowed me to create just an amazing group of friends uh, that are still in my life now. That being said, when I moved out to Denver, um, I had a pretty significant uh, dating phase. Some may even call it a O phase responsibly, but nonetheless. <laughs> Um, and I don't regret that for a second. I learned a lot about myself in that time and it was fun and I got to see Denver that way and that's how I met people. Um, but in that time, a lot, well, most, most if not all of my social life was dating. And so that kind of morphed my relationship with myself into something else. And I had fun and it was great. And then when it started to not be great and really start to take a toll on my mental health, that's when I stopped. Um, and it's coincidentally around the same time as when, is when me and my ex-boyfriend met. And then we were together for a year and a half. And this was my first like big real relationship. And um, I know that a lot of my identity got wrapped up into this relationship. And that's not a bad thing. Like, uh, given the circumstances of us being like quarantined together for the most part and like all that kind of stuff, like it's to be expected. And I loved that relationship and I really grew into myself more in that relationship, but a lot of myself was wrapped into it. And so now that it's over, I've really been doing a lot of work in therapy and having some like very big introspective moments with myself um, to kind of relearn who I am and what I like as an individual. <laughs> and it's been a very uh, interesting experience. Quite honestly, through this, I have come to the realization that this breakup might not have been as bad of a thing as I thought it was initially. And now that it's over, it's my time just to be 24 and almost 25 and to do what I want to do and to just live my life the way I want to live it. And yeah, Mario really taught me what love was supposed to feel like from a person, um, especially coming off of the heels of that past relationship that I told you about, uh, if you could even if you could even call him call it that. Um, and I will always love him for that. Like that is something I needed to learn, and this was a really important like season of my life. But I love him for that, but there's a huge difference between loving someone and being in love with someone 
And I think I am starting to learn the big difference between those two things even more. I always knew that, that, that it was a thing, but like now that I'm kind of like having to go through it, I'm learning the differences. And now I'm learning how to be in love with myself. <laughs> when you turn 25, which I'm turning 25 in September, that's when your brain is fully developed. Your frontal lobe is developed. You should be just the best at making decisions, right? And I have always considered myself like, very mature for my age. I've always been told I'm really mature for my age. And so I never really expected to feel that big of a shift. But now that it's coming up, I have felt, I have, I don't know if it's making me more aware or whatever, but I have been feeling like these huge changes in myself psychologically that like things that used to be really important to me just like aren't anymore. And I haven't felt as like centered and content in my life as I do now. It's a really hard thing to explain. Um, and I, the main reason I'm making this video is because I know a lot of my viewership are women. I know a lot of women watch my channel, which like, hey, um, and that's, amazing to me and I love that and I and I think this is a really important thing to talk about with other women and girls because we are constantly told that like we are supposed to be nurturers and caretakers and etc etc and I want to tell you that I had the this like weird breakthrough in therapy which this might seem like common sense to other people but like to me it was like groundbreaking but like it's okay for me to be selfish. It's okay for you to be selfish and to learn who you are and what you like and like all and my dad has been telling me this my entire life, but I don't know why it took me a year and a half long relationship ending and like a year and a half of therapy and whatever to like finally figure it out. But like, it's okay to be selfish and to vouch for yourself. And I feel like as women, we are constantly told to do the opposite. And especially in relationships and caring for people under the guise that it's gonna hurt the other person. But like, you kind of have to have a moment and be like, what's best for me? And I'm obviously not saying like, be rude <laughs> or be mean, but like, just look out for yourself, you know? Like, look out for yourself, do stuff that you like and everything else will kind of follow after. It's also okay <laughs> um, to let go of someone that you love if you are not necessarily in love with them and if it's for your benefit. It's not a decision to be made lightly, but it's okay. And I I know I was not the one that ended my relationship, but I had this like, I had this thing after it happened that like we would get back together later and that I wanted that. But after doing some extremely hard work with myself in therapy and out of therapy, I've realized that I don't really want that. And um, it's okay to admit that you deserve more. It's okay to accept that you deserve more because if you feel like you deserve more, then you deserve more. And there's no shame in that because ultimately you are the one constant in your life and you need to make you happy. Everything else, like I said, just kind of falls into place afterwards. Take time to be weird and do weird shit that only you like to do. I dance in front of my mirror after taking a shower for like an hour, like f at least once a week because it makes me happy. Like it's joyful movement or whatever the hell. And like, it's fun and it makes me happy. I ate a salad naked in bed the other day while doing a clay face mask because like who the fuck cares? Why not? Why not do that? <laughs> I went to a coffee shop on Friday and I worked from there because I can do that now. And after I was done with all my work, I went to a record store that was down the street and spent like an hour Hour there. I've started doing Peloton classes again and I've taken up paddle boarding and I've just been moving my body so much more. And that's not to say that I couldn't do this in my relationship. I think it's just because I am all I have now in this little sphere of mine over here and I can just do whatever and whatever makes me happy. And that's a cool thing to kind of realize. Oh, and I got drunk Friday night by myself in my apartment and had a dance party for like two hours. Like I've been dancing a lot. I don't really know why I've been dancing a lot, but I've been dancing a lot. And it's just like these little things that I am finding are okay to do, even if they're weird to other people because they make me happy. And like, 
I, yeah, I talk to my cats. I sing to my cats. I, that's fine. That's a totally normal thing to do. And yeah, I, I did, uh, download uh, a dating app again and I've been talking to some people on there but like it's just fun and I don't have this expectation of wanting to jump into something right away or wanting to make something that out of wanting to make something out of a situation that it's not if that makes sense like I don't have any expectations I'm just in it for the lols and like if something were to happen, then great, but like, I'm just enjoying being 25 or 24, and I think that's a really important thing to do, is just enjoy being you in the moment, because that's all you have. So like I said, this is a really rambly video, but I've just made like, some breakthroughs with myself, and I feel like it doesn't get talked about a lot, <laughs> uh, like, self working on yourself, and like, admitting that like maybe things you were doing in the past like weren't the greatest for yourself and all that kind of stuff and like I said I haven't felt as centered and content in my life as I do right now probably like ever to be completely honest with you it's like something just clicked and I don't know what it was um but it did and I'm really happy that it did and I'm honestly really proud of myself that I did the work to get here and because it's hard to do and it's okay to do. If you think you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. Therapy is amazing. There's no shame in it. It's only going to help you. Yes, it's hard to find a therapist sometimes right off the bat, but you'll get one. And like, it'll help you so, so much. And it's helped me so much. And I don't ever, I don't intend on stopping it anytime soon. But there's no shame in going to therapy, even if you don't have mental illness. If you just need to like figure shit out, it's a great thing to do. I've been figuring shit out for the last like month and a half or so and like hardcore. And it's been amazing. So friends, it is okay to be selfish and to rekindle your relationship with yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are all you have and you and you need to take the time to love you and be happy with you. And it's okay to make tough decisions for yourself. It really is. It's okay to be selfish. Obviously, like I'm saying, don't be a dick, but like it's okay to be selfish and to do things that you need to do for yourself for your ultimate happiness. My bangs are just like on one today. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this is a really random rambly video, but I just had a lot of thoughts on my brain and I wanted to spew them out uh, to people on the internet, I guess. <laughs> and maybe make you feel like you're a little bit less alone in going through things like this and to be a shoulder to lean on, hypothetically, <laughs> if you needed that. Um, and yeah. I just want to let you know that it's okay to like love yourself and to be in a relationship with yourself for a while. That's cool too. That's really important actually. And if that entails getting drunk by yourself and dancing around your apartment every once in a while, then so be it. This might seem like super common sense to people, kind of like I said before, but like I have never felt like this about my life and about myself before <laughs> and so that's why i wanted to make this video because i'm proud of myself okay and if you're going through similar things you're gonna get there too i promise i pinky promise i hate when people are like time heals everything but genuinely time heals everything and all we, nobody really knows what the hell they're doing when life happens as it's happening but all we can do is our best and come out on the other side and learn from it. And that's what I'm doing right now and you can do it too, I promise. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble about nothing for however many minutes this ends up being. And again, thank you to Skillshare for being a recurring sponsor on my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be kind to yourself, even if it's not the most savory thing to other people and just do you, boo-boo. Like, I love you so, so much. And again, thank you so much for watching. Links to all my shit will be down below. I'm not even going to plug it all. And yeah, I love you all so, 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 so much. And I will see you in the next one. Okay.